Lindy. Today we're going to have a lot of fun with some zucchini squash. We're going to make spaghetti out of it. To do this we're going to use our mandolin here and um, just to talk briefly about the mandolin, it's a very very sharp thing. Uh, cuts uh, vegetables very very easily. I love this one. It's made by XOXO because it's really easy to adjust the uh, dial has a removable plate so you can make waffle cuts or straight cuts depending on what you want to do and it has two julian features and we're going to use the small julian to do our squash. What I'm going to start off by doing is cutting off the ends of the pieces of squash for the compost pile and then I'm simply going to Hold the zucchini. That one tried to get away. It's not going anywhere. And run it down. Keeping my hand very flat so I don't get caught up in those blades. And I'm only going to go as far as where the uh, seeds start showing. Now that we have all this beautiful zucchini cut up, it looks just like spaghetti, let's have some fun cooking with it. First I'm going to make just a really simple side dish, sautéed zucchini. We're going to heat up our pan, an extra virgin olive oil, and then add some chopped fresh garlic. A little bit of the garlic flavoring. You don't want to get it brown or anything. You just want to get it like flavored. Then we're going to take some of this beautiful squash and we're going to drop it in. And it's going to cook very, very quickly. You don't want to overdo it. You want it nice and tender, but you want it still to have a little bit of crispness to it. A little bit of salt, a touch of fresh ground pepper, and I like to do it with just a dash of dill weed. Gives it a nice fresh flavor. So just toss that a few times with your tongs, and it's ready to plate. Doesn't that look good? So simple. Okay, now we're going to do the second preparation. And this is going to be done pretty close to the same as our first one, but I'm not going to add the dill and we're going to put some tomato sauce on it. This should be perfect for all of you Atkins who don't like the carbs and all of you fat busters who don't do the carbs. And uh, we're actually using a very good sauce uh, made by Colavita. It's fat free and it's a garden style sauce and it's very, very delicious. So this would make a great quick lunch. Again, we're going to start with the olive oil. Swirl that around a little bit. Add a good handful of our squash. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, cook it until it's tender, but still has some bite, just like you would want to cook your pasta, tender but still with some bite. And when it's ready, we'll take our bowl Get our fresh grated 
Reggiano Parmigiano. And there you have it. In about three minutes, a beautiful lunch. The ingredients for this dish is a, I'm going to repurpose some leftover linguine that we had the other night and make it totally different and you could have it for a simple lunch or a dinner. Make a fantastic vegetarian dinner. So we're going to start by heating up the linguine. Then we're going to add the, the squash, saute those together. Then we are going to add the tomato after we take it off the heat so the tomatoes stay nice and fresh. We're going to put some feta cheese broken up into it. I always buy my feta cheese as a whole chunk. It's so easy to break up and they charge you way too much for breaking it for you. So you may as well just buy a whole piece. Then I'm going to tear some basil in it. We'll add some salt, pepper, and of course we'll always start with a good virgin olive oil. I'm going to start with the extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to add our linguine. Now this was something we had the other night. So there's already some sun-dried tomatoes in here, some olives, some spinach. But we want to get this going. And to this, we're going to add our squash, our zucchini spaghetti. The textures are so close to each other that it works really, really well. Mix that in. Again, it should take about three minutes to heat up the linguine and get the squash nice and tender and get it to all meld together. Okay, so now we're going to just season this with a little bit of salt. You can add some red pepper flakes too if you'd like. It'll probably give it a nice little bang. Some pepper, freshly ground. Always use freshly ground pepper. You can really tell the difference. But I'm going to take it, shut the heat off. I'm going to add those tomatoes. Just let them get a little bit warm. Take some feta cheese and just roughly tear some of this fresh basil into this. Well, if you could smell this, it smells so good. Give it a final little mix and we're ready to put. Doesn't that look just lovely? Put a little bit more cheese on the top. Voila. We had a wonderful vegetarian meal either for dinner or for lunch and it took about five minutes. So here we have our first dish which is a, a simple side dish of zucchini spaghetti sauteed in extra virgin olive oil with just a touch of butter and some garlic, dill, salt and pepper. Very simple. Then we have sauteed zucchini once again sauteed in extra virgin olive oil with a very simple uh, tomato, garden tomato sauce on top of it um, with the uh, some Parmesan cheese. And then we have our repurposed dinner from our leftover linguine. We sauteed that along with the zucchini, some tomatoes, feta cheese, and basil. Now as far as a wine pairing, you could probably do with a nice Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc with any of these dishes, I think would be excellent. You might be able to go with a light red with the feta cheese, with the uh, because it, the original linguine had some sun-dried tomatoes in it, so it's got a little bit of a fuller flavor. And perhaps even with the zucchini with the tomato pasta sauce um, could stand up to a, a nice red because of the, the red sauce. Um, so Lindy says, cheers to good food and wine.